Hello. <laughs> Just a quick note before the video starts. I've been gone a while because I had to travel in the middle of an evil pandemic and also had a ton of other like random life stuff going on including like working on a game and also this super super long world building video series and you know like lots of other stuff which you can check the description for more information uh, but basically all of my video editing energy was spent up like editing 20 plus hours of me badly reading slideshows about elves and stuff but um I'm currently finished with a few of the main things so now I'm reprioritizing stuff like sims videos and also finally finishing up some of the other old like ancient abandoned groups of videos that I put on here like the the old flash game series and stuff which like there's only like a few more videos left in that so like I could easily just be done with it but I, I don't know it takes me forever to get around to things because there's always you know what the thing about life is there's always stuff going on and your schedule clears and then guess what another thing happens and it's like uh <laughs> hello <laughs> but yeah finishing up that and then east shade and like the the other one whatever the the porsche thing which i really like i think that's really fun i would love to go i haven't played that game in probably two years but i would love to go back to it because it's super super fun to me i love the meticulous you know organizing the inventory type nonsense and stuff but anyway yeah i hope to get around to like old things finishing up some old things doing some new sims videos everything like that like hopefully i can get back to my old goal that i was sticking to for a while because for a while it was posting i think it was like post at least once every two weeks maybe once a week but at least once every two weeks because you know i can't i can't do like daily or something but, you know for my functioning level and health level and busyness level i think one at least once every two weeks is fine and i used to be able to do that so i want to get back to doing that even though it's the evil summer and so heat sensitivity health problems are like very stinky right now but i'm i i'm hopefully will be able to manage that because i mean if anything it's kind of better when i feel sick in the summer because like well it's not good that i feel sick but like <laughs> in terms of like activities to do in the summer. One of the few things that are kind of repetitive and monotonous enough that I can do with pretty low energy is like editing and filming videos. So even if I feel sick, usually I can still at least do those things in some capacity. It's currently June 17th as I'm speaking. The last time I played The Sims was April 7th. So I really have actually been wanting to get back to it more because it's one of those things that's like super enjoyable for me and is one of my primary interest topics that I'm like obsessed with <laughs> always. But but it's also something that kind of falls off my plate pretty quickly when the mess of other life stuff comes up because it's not like I don't know you know it's not as high of a priority as I don't know paying rent <laughs> or whatever though, though I wish it was imagine if that was your only priority like if, if all you did was play games or make games or something like that like you could just like spend your whole life doing that that would be really awesome anyway I know like maybe only three people actually watch these videos but I still thought like it might have been weird to kind of disappear for two months and then not like bring up anything and YouTube is doing that weird thing like I don't know they've changed the formatting where it's like the descriptions of videos don't matter as much anymore the video description is like moved off away side or like all the text is collapsed so you don't even like see it and it's like why why this? I, I love to read descriptions i like to use descriptions to add context why do you think people only just see the title of a video i hate the streamlining of social media i hate that everything is made for mobile phones i hate that everything lacks detail and is oversimplified but i'm not gonna ramble about that right now it's, it's just i hate all new website design grr but so i thought i should include like a part actually in the video because if i just type something in the description probably nobody will see it because like youtube is like don't read descriptions f detail and context just clicky click short video haha ha, fun thumbnail hee hee algorithm anyway yeah there's some context so uh also i'm about to go like try and update my sims game for the first time in three months and i know i think there's been like a I haven't totally been keeping up with it because again i've been very busy and very ups there's lots of crazy stuff happening all the time but um i've heard there's been some things that have come out and some lots of changes so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully that three months of backlogged updates goes well, doesn't blow up anything in the game. Um, yeah, shout out to all cats, if any of your cats are listening. Thanks for watching. That's my small update now. Good. On to the, on to the actual video. See, this is the place. It's just supposed to be geometrically strange. Like, this is like a hovering platform supported by nothing, pretty much, for this one little thing. And this is like a floating pool. A so floating pool, we have like seating up here. And the way that you get to that top seating is you have to go in through here. This is where you're supposed to check in. Then you go down these stairs. 
And when you go down those stairs, you enter this secret bar area. And when you get into the secret bar area, you can jump two stories. See how long this is? You jump all the way down here into this pool. And then when you jump into this, which Sims cannot actually do this. It's not actually something that's functional in the game, but theoretically this is what you have to do. You jump into the pool. Then you go through these elaborate series of little hallways. You crawl through here. Then you crawl up through here. And then finally you come out right here. And once you come out right here, you can walk across here and right to here and then go up these stairs. And then when you go up these stairs, see it's supposed to be complicated. You go to this hovering, floating platform looking place. And then you go up those stairs. Then you go to more like hovering, floating platform looking stairs. And you go to the very top. Then you cross this top area and then you can get, you can have your seating right here and also go into this floating swimming pool and have the best view because it overlooks whatever this is, like this view. <gasps> wow, look at the moon. Wow, look at the moon. I don't know why I said it that way. I don't usually see the moon. I never see the moon in games. But below this top platform that's incredibly complicated to get to, you also have a kind of VIP seating area. What is a child doing in here? Which is like more special and they have their own bathroom. And then here below the stairs, you have the normal people seating area, which is not VIPs. And their bathroom, you have to go out this door and then walk on the roof and go into this tiny little bathroom right here. And the normal seating area is right above this main lobby. And you also have this pool here. And of course the fancy little bar type stuff going on right there. And this is the kitchen where all the chefs are. But again, I don't know how restaurants work, so I don't know if this will actually like work or something. I don't know what I need to do. Look, this is still messed up, but I guess for now, I'll just kind of walk around, see what's happening. Do the restaurants open at night? Now, hold on. I think I might've seen the owner. Oh, while I'm here, I should change the lights of everything. Hold on, it's gonna take a while for me to set the color and intensity of all the lights. Yeah, your chefs are cooking in a purple kitchen. That means they will not be able to... <laughs> that would actually inhibit them from being able to see if they're making the food properly because the colors would be very different, but... I think I got all the lights. Look at this place, look at down here. Got some stuff going on down here. All right, now what can we do? Can we, do we have to like wait? Like this is that host station place. Shouldn't there be somebody there? Maybe we just have to wait for people to show up. Who are these people? That's the McDunchleys, I thought so. Gruntly Runs McDunchley and Didis Blunch McDunchley. I could just go dance down there. I wanted to try to eat at a restaurant. I can't climb a table. Chef is just sitting there. Looks cool though, huh? Ooh, yeah, look at this. The cool lighting. Cool lighting up here. Uh, they're getting served. Look, they were just talking to the waiter. The waiter is like gonna bring them food or something probably. Claim a table. Okay, I think I have to find the host. I don't know where they are. I know that I set for the host in this restaurant to be wearing like a red outfit. And I did see someone in like a red outfit, <laughs> but I don't know where they are now. It's made to be looked at at night. It doesn't really look very impressive in the daytime. It just looks weird in the daytime. But at night it's kind of cool. Where's that child that was up here in the VIP lounge alone? L Lowly Marie McDungeley came out too, okay. Everybody, all the McDunchleys are out to eat at the fancy new restaurant. Is the host in the underground tunnels? It says you need to click on the host and then ask them for a table. But I've got to find them first, haven't I? I'm on a little scavenger hunt. I don't know if there's a host here. You think they might have left? <laughs> we have some children. We have some waiters. We have a chef waiting outside. I'm looking it up. I'm seeing. Are they maybe outside somewhere? generated in the lot or something but they got distracted on the way here what's this place oh yeah this is a house i modified it's a reality tv show house kind of like the bad girls club or whatever how they all live in one mansion maybe it's cut hold on 
Okay. I'll give it a few more minutes. What the hell happened? Oh, my stuff didn't come back. Oh, my menus are gone. Can I open my library? Oh, wait, can I save? I can still save, right? Ooh, let's save. Because I, I might have to reopen things or something. I would like to just go home. Can I just go home? Can I get Lyra's home and then reopen the game or something? That would be good. Oh my gosh, I can't even see any menu items. Can't go anywhere because I'm in the middle of an event too. I think the X was around here. This has been fun. I suppose I'll try and exit the game. <laughs> Hopefully nothing too crazy has happened. Dude, I just found ants. There's like five, like ten ants in my room. I just found them on the walls because my cats were licking the walls. Because cats like the taste of ants. There's a chemical in ants that ants excrete that cats like the taste of. I've looked that up before. What the funk? I don't even keep food in my room. Dude, ants do stink. Oh, I smell that smell. That It's like an acrid, like a chemical. Almost like a like nail polish remover. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me, I keep finding more. Where are they getting in? Through the window? Dude, where- th Ooh, this stinks so bad. Wow. I never knew that ants smelled nasty like that. I do want to get back to filming the video. So I fixed everything, um, or I hope I fixed it. I was thinking maybe it was the UI, you know, that extin UI extension UI cheats mod, which changes the user interface so you can cheat and stuff. I'm putting tape on the window. I'm taping a place where I think there's a draft where there's a hole at the beginning in. Um, so I looked up, oh my, I re-downloaded a more updated version of it. I forgot you have to change that out like every time that you download a new expansion pack. So thinking maybe that was it. One behind here. I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's where they all are. <laughs> I just found like 30 of them. What the freak? Maybe at some point, like I, they were all clustering on this like side table. Maybe at some point I spilled something on that side table and I like, didn't clean it well enough? I have no clue. There's no food here. Not even stuff like gum or like cough drop. I see another one here. I think I've contained the breach successfully. I, I, now I've seen a few ants come in. I've seen every once in a while I'll see one by the window, but... You know, I thought no big deal. It's just like an ant that got through. Apparently not. Now the cats are fighting over the ant wall. They both want to lick the wall. They're getting into a little tussle. Cats are like trying to climb the bookshelf to lick ant residue. Okay. Well! That's the thing about white walls. I will always have white walls. I want white walls in my living space or light colored pastel walls. Guys, you can see if they're spiders or ants. If I had dark colored walls, I might not have ever seen that. It's 14 minutes in. I've been recording for like 14 minutes. Is Lyra still out? I play them wherever they are. Let's see if this works. I mean, maybe reloading the whole game will help. No, it's still weird. I mean, I guess the menu is a little better than it was. After reloading, does this work any differently? Oh, you know what? I wonder if now... So I think previously, UI cheats was older than the game. And I think now I have the most updated version of the UI cheats, but I have not updated my game to that point. So they're still out of sync, but maybe we'll work a little bit better. Will you stop? My cats are climbing up the walls, they're climbing up the windows, they're doing everything they can to get that good, good ant residue. <laughs> All right, F the social event, yeah. Some of these menus look pretty normal. I mean, eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I mean, this looks like it's fixed. This menu looks more normal. It used to look as weirder. Maybe some menus are fixed, some menus are still weird. Not sure. Let's get going. You seem like a nice guy, but the, the restaurant isn't working. Oh, who is this? Look at those lips. The, like, baby doll lip kind of thing. 
We're gonna go to Chunky's House of Crunch or whatever that place was called. See if that restaurant's a little bit more functional. Crunkle's Chunk Emporium, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, look, okay. <laughs> look at this place. Look, a host is there. That's probably how it's supposed to freaking be. So this is Crunkle's Chunk Emporium. And you can get some newspapers out front and there's there's flies because the whole place stinks. There's a, all of these. There's this big sign right here. There's a bunch of um, flamingos out front and then there's cows. So the place is very cow centered. Um, you see there's a giant cow here. They don't have a lot of cow stuff, but I tried to put as much cow stuff as I could. Down here in the main room, there's a cow. There's another cow. They're like farm animal themed. So it's not just cows, there's pigs and stuff everywhere too. The giant thing of Pepto-Bismol out front and a little gnome and a recycling thing. Back we have lots and lots of flies because the whole place reeks like a dump and a swing set and a place for kids to play. And this is the fun game called Weave Through the Fish where your children can run and <laughs> try to avoid these uh, hanging salmon. And on the inside, uh, there's also flies on the inside everywhere <laughs> and every table gets a complimentary donut So in the center of each table, there's a donut. There's balloons around. There's a disco ball Here's a slushy machine self-serve and some donuts just sitting out and a duck. This is a kitchen looks very plain It's just a normal kitchen Here's the cheese bathrooms. They have cheese walls and fun little mirrors and fun little green toilets and there's toothbrushes on the floor in this bathroom. Well here's some tools and a chicken and up the stairs you have a little hot dog and some fancy pretty fun looking colorful things and a clown and a rainbow Christmas tree and then you can come eat out here with motivational posters and of course a giant cow and here's the gnome collection which is very very important and they'll watch you eat and you can also light a fire in the middle of the place right here so that's <laughs> That's a Crunkle's Chunk Emporium. Come in here and request a table. Oh look, there's the tables. Oh yeah, here's the waiter. Wait, look. The waiters are all wearing this. They're wearing yellow latex arm length gloves, cowboy boots, red fishnets, this type of shirt, and a cow hat. Oh yeah, and an eye patch. The eye patch is part of the waiter outfit. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny that this randomly generated sim ended up having hair over one of their eyes because <laughs> now they can't see out of either eye. Can I get a table? Also, yes, the dress code is formal. Oh, do they just take you to a random table? You don't get to choose? Look at those fancy boots. Look at those fancy boots. Oh, we get seated up here. We could have the rooftop dining. With with all the flies. Oh good. Our table has less flies around it. Order from Oh okay, so here's the menu. Buffalo wing tea, water lemonade, cereal. Cereal is their best dish. Cheese crackers, peas and cheese. And then the main meals are ham and cheese sandwich, peanut jelly sandwich, grilled cheese, hot dog, bacon pizza, cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, meat pie. And for chef's choice, you can get a gourmet fruit cake, a hamburger cake, chocolate pie, or pumpkin pie, or blue confetti cake. I get some buffalo wing tea, some cheese crackers. Oh yeah, Lyris doesn't even eat. Some Canadian bacon pizza. How about some hamburger cake? We'll just see how that goes. Wait to place order with wait staff. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna sit here. Oh, there's some. Look <laughs> how many flies there are. Oh, this guy's war <laughs> warming himself by the fire. Much better than the fancy, fancy place. Look at the beautiful view. We got the flies and everything. We have our complimentary donut in the middle of the table. Can look out here. I guess I can't do anything. Oh, okay. We have a nude person. Oh yeah, one of the extra lot traits that I added, which is a custom content lot trait, I don't think it actually comes with a sim, is uh, clothing optional. So there might be- oh yeah, here's what the guys wear. 
Interesting staff. Where's the chef? The chef is not going to cook. Why are the chefs standing outside? You better get in there. Can't believe... So I was having problems with this lot where when I exited the lot, like when I changed what I was building, it would default the chef outfits back to something different. So the chefs are not supposed to look like this. They're supposed to be wearing a different silly outfit, but I think they accidentally defaulted back to the chef outfit. This is a fun time. Why are you coming to talk to me? You have my food? Well, I guess they were just saying, hey, I know it's been a while. We're getting your food eventually. Our chefs were stuck outside doing nothing for a little while, so... Oh, look at the constellation. Has anybody ever mapped the Sims constellations? You can tell that the sky... <laughs> look at the amount of flies. You can... <laughs> you can tell that the sky has, like, distinct constellations in it, but they're never, like, referenced in-game or something. Vomits when eating human food. Okay. Oh! Did the waiter just drop my sh stuff? Okay, so I, I almost got my food and then the waiter dropped it. Probably because they were getting swarmed by flies. I guess we're just gonna keep waiting. I'm gonna come back with more food? You're just gonna drop it? See what's going on down here. More food coming up or what? She's just talking to herself in the mirror. Oh, both the chefs are working now. Fabulous. Um, these people are getting their food. The naked guy got his food. Oh wait, I think maybe they're coming back. Are they coming with food for me? Nope. Oh, they're coming to clean up the trash behind me. That's nice. Good. At least they keep their place clean. Look at the cars driving in the distance. Look at the views. Look at how many flies are on the playground. Well, girls and squirrels of the jury, it's like 2.31 in the morning. I've been waiting here for hours. My food is coming. I saw someone walking with a little platter. I hope they don't drop it this time again. Here's your order, enjoy. That's the buffalo tea, the hamburger cake. That's a big dragonfly. Oh yeah, you gotta throw up now. That's all you're gonna eat? Oh, what about the cake? I do own the item, I freaking bought it. He's like, all right, I'll just take that away from you. Let me, let me take it. She just put the cake in the fire. So this is how we dispose of things here. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna vom. We gotta go. Like, the, oh yeah, look, there's a little plunger outside the door. It's the last place you want to have a bathroom emergency. Now what are we doing? Are we done here? Another naked person. It's the Dunchleys again. They're just going out to every single restaurant in the entire whole city. Like, why does it say order for table? I don't think I need to- Oh yeah, do I need to go back to the table and be like, I'm done. In meal and pay bill. They didn't get my cereal and cheese crackers or whatever the hell else I ordered. I just leave. Do you get fined? I wish, like, police could come after you or something if you just die in a dash. Because that's what Lyris would do. Liars would get put in prison. Barca. For many reasons. <laughs> not just not paying the hamburger place. Simoleons have been automatically- Well, that was a pretty cheap meal. Can I be done with this? I mean, why is this still here? I'm not ordering for- Is there someone I can feed on while I'm here? What was that? The world got darker. The lights went out. That's because it's like starting to be morning. I spent all night at Crunkle's Chunkle. Oh, I don't think I can compel people. I'm too uncomfortable. Alright, well, I'm gonna go home. This is the best restaurant ever. The experience at Crunkle's Chunk Emporium was the best dining experience I've ever had. 
So glad I couldn't get into that nicer place. Oh, it's raining! Look, we're just gonna do this. Bam. Did you have a good time? How's everyone doing? Are you dying? Because you don't know how to care for yourselves? Wish you could be a food reviewer. Too uncomfortable. You're not even that uncomfortable. You'll be done being uncomfortable in like however many minutes. Where's Lyros? I mean, Anna Maria. Painting again. Where's the child? Why don't you play in the rain since you have nothing better to do? You are doing fine. You need to get really smart though. Play, you need to draw, you need to do all these things to get all your skills up. Grab a serving of that and then why don't you go fishing in the rain for fun. I think everybody has stuff to do, so. Oh, why is the foot gone? Sometimes that just happens. Oh yeah. Beautiful way to spend the early morning. Cats are not spending any time in here, even though I built a whole place just for feline time. Apparently it doesn't matter. Why don't you resume your book then, I guess. What else? Work in six hours. You've already done all the stuff you have to do for work. I'm gonna focus on the child maybe for a little while. Getting those children's skills up. Take a picture of your child drawing. Play a game on your phone while you're waiting for your kid to finish drawing. You in the red, what are you doing? No, oh, did you finish your painting? Okay, that's a weird painting. I do really want to go to the other restaurants. Finish the picture? That's your son! Why don't you go do something important and you do whatever the hell you want to do, McKenna? You are still uncomfortable, why? Your needs aren't even that bad. Your needs are fine. Oh. Well, clean the litter box if you have a problem with it so much. You're just watching your child play games. Oh yeah, what do the games look like? Hold on. It looks like little bubbles. Little popping bubbles, that's kind of cute. Persimmon! I noticed that you didn't go fishing like I thought you were going to. Clean. Clean. Clean still somehow. Clean. Clean. Oh, hold on. First look for frogs. Then go fishing. Which will not work. Maybe on Maria. On Maria, you should go out to a restaurant. That will make you feel a lot better. Don't you agree? Don't you agree, on Maria, that you should go out to a restaurant? She's gotta go. She needs to go sell stuff, too, in, in the in town. In the in the town. Look at that beautiful umbrella. I love the see-through umbrella. Uh, everybody loves a brother. Uh, see through one brother. Whoa! Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. See through one brother. Oh, oh. See through one brother. Didn't catch a frog, of course. What are you mad about? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Bonk. Guess who's doing amazing? <laughs> yeah, let's 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 have Aunt Maria have a day. They seem pretty chronically uncomfortable all the time. Who pee peed and all that stuff in here? Well, okay, hold on. Can you? What are you doing? Can she fill this and fill this? See what temperature is it? It's kind of warm. About this one. There you go. You don't have to be so unhappy. What is, is there something, I bet there's something rotting in the inventory. We can sell this. $95 for that. Is there rotting food in here? Carrot. Could be the poop that's being carried around. Could be that uh, she does have a lot of poop with her. Maybe we can fertilize some of these things with poop right before we leave. Oh, a lot of these are evolvable. Let's fertilize those things, get the poop out of your inventory. And we gotta harvest a bunch of stuff though. We should harvest everything before we go. Because we're gonna sell it. We're gonna harvest stuff, sell stuff, go to a restaurant. It's 8 in the morning and it looks pretty dark. 
it's like a cloudy day overcast cloudy fall day my cat just sneezed uncomfortable icky plumbing oh what who cares we will put him to bed right before we leave you're going off to work you're hanging out oh no lasagna is getting on in the years get the hell out of here I mean, he really likes his mom, but... We're working on the fishing skill, working on the handiness skill. These are the things that we need to do. Can Lyris finished another book? Lyris, jeez. Why? Why? Hold on. Why did you not do what I asked you to do? Craft a dining table. Or you can't reach it. Why? It must always be something, mustn't it? We upgrade this. Yes, just do whatever freaking upgrades you can find. Anything around the house that can be upgraded should be upgraded just for the sake of, like, just for the sake of it. Oh, there she goes falling again. What are you mad about? Go to freaking sleep. You Why does this kid get angry about everything? Can you sleep in this? This is the true test. We gotta find out if he can actually sleep in this bed. Because there is a lot of clutter around it. Can you do it? No, of course he can't. Beep! Get to the beep! Beep! Just boost all your stuff before you go to work. Who can do this? You're working on stuff. Somebody needs to put some... Just put some chicken feed out. Just scatter some feed nearby once you're done with all that stuff. You just want to go to a restaurant! But it's, it's like there's always stuff that you have to take care of before you go. Because if you don't, there's going to be a problem. Oh yeah, the child needs to freaking sleep. I have to go into the build mode, which always makes it really slow. The bloody game's going to crash. Move objects on pitch. Move objects on. Should be like enough space for the kid to get in there. I mean everything oh yeah i should probably kind of um looks like something a kid could like oh yeah i had some of these that i just kind of threw on the wall i need to organize them in her cluster of memories i'd want to make this bigger also oh you tedious creature sleep 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 thank you oh man finally as soon as you're done with all your tasks, we are going to a restaurant. It's a nice rainy day. <gasps> Look at this! Do you see that this changes when it's the fall? Whoa! This flower trellis thing? Wow! I didn't know that that would change when the season changes. All these plants are getting watered. Just follow on Maria. I know you're hungry. We're gonna go. Yeah, they're all freaking hungry. Oh my god. Is that like a glitch? Why can they eat so much? Come on, come on, come on. We gotta go out to eat. Look at the leaves falling and the rain. I love fall and winter so much. What are your needs? Sleepy. Let's put all these all the way up while you're sleeping. I know I usually don't cheat stuff like this, but I'm gonna be gone at a restaurant. I Children are so hard to take care of. Now the thing on top of here doesn't change. Look, they've already eaten like almost all the food. Like what in the hell? Auto feeder. Oh, we gotta get that. We have- we have to start doing quests for the freaking stupid townspeople again. Oh, I hated doing that. I think we have to do that because we really need to work up to an auto-feeder because it's crazy to feed. First of all, we're going to travel. We're gonna go and we're gonna sell stuff because I don't know how late the shops in the town center are open. So we should definitely get our produce sold first. But then after that, we're gonna go to a restaurant! Let's just go here, I guess. Oh wait, let's go to Dunky Donuts. I have a kazoo. I've never heard 
this sim song? Is this one of the ones that comes with the restaurant expansion pack? I don't think I've ever heard it before. I'm not familiar with it. Like trying to trying to play kazoo along with it. I, I don't I don't remember it. It's not a real song. Is that a real song? around the kazoo. I think I wasted 10 minutes doing that. I haven't recorded in months. You've got to understand. Okay, so these are all fall bushes, so they look a little bit different than when I originally put them down. Here's the Dunkin' Donuts. The very fancy Dunkin' Donuts, because I... I don't know. I just... I'm not really sure how to build modern fast food establishments. It's brown and orange. So this brown kind of looks more like a black. It's brown and orange and black. Obviously this is custom content. It also is really modern. There's like a skylight and the upper level. <laughs> this is just a, there's like nothing here. This is just to meet the qualifications for the lot. They have like a double tall ceiling, little kind of bars going across. So if you like actually go in and sit down, you have a skylight and this fancy ceiling stuff going on. And also inside here, they have like this weird, it's like neon lights and plants like an indented room area with neon lights and plants. You have some signs. It says, hey, get some donuts here. All of this stuff, lots of things. There's some places for people to sit. Here's another door to the inside, a sign reminding people to recycle. You have some uh, umbrella tables. This is made to look like there's people already kind of eating here. They've parked their bikes. They have some donuts on the table, some drinks. There's two cell phones out, like people are chatting. It's a little bit weird in this town. I tried to put plants around it and stuff so it kind of blends in, but it definitely does not super blend in with the rest of Hinford and Bagley or whatever. This, uh, you come in and there's, um, here's the whole layout. And when you come in, there's some tables. They're all pink and orange because that's Dunkin' Donut colors. You have this coffee you can buy. You have some pictures of Dunkin' Donuts stuff. Some pictures, a painting of coffee. Front, which is actually a bar because I don't have cafes. I have restaurants now, but I don't have cafes. I wish they had cafes isolated. That's part of that college pack or something, right? Like, I don't care. I don't want my Sims to go to college. I just want to run a cafe. Back here, there's the cupcake machine and the orange and pink kitchen area. And then you have this bathroom, which is brown with orange and pink accents and an orange light and a painted picture of a donut on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's this recycling thing. And these are all advertisements. And up at the front, which is the main place, you have this menu with breakfast sandwiches and stuff, other menu and these syrups to put in your drinks. And here's some people's orders that's are out on the counter also this place um serves bubble tea i decided counter with the baked goods and all the donuts in it and this is like some coffee machines and some juice making stuff or whatever here you can see somebody somebody came in here and ordered a bubble tea and a coffee and they're working on their laptop on their schoolwork somebody ordered a little bread roll and a black coffee and they're working they're like reading a book Kind of more like a hangout cafe. Here's someone reading the newspaper, having coffee and a donut. And here's somebody having some eggs with a, with a friend. So that's the inside of the Dunkin' Donuts that I built. Why did I build a Dunkin' Donuts? I don't know, I just felt like it. And I'm sad that I can't go to Dunkin' Donuts in real life because there's not one in the entire state that I live in or even close. I went from living in places where I can easily access the Dunkin' Donuts to absolutely zero Dunkin' Donuts. So I just felt like it. Oh, look at them. Here's Sean. We saw him in the other place, except he was nude. And Mahana Iposa. I forgot about her. I like this uh, custom content, this dress. Look at these trees. Look at, they turn like peachy, not peach. They turn like a weird, like violet color with yellow. That's really cool. Let's go haggle. She's not going to haggle successfully because she's uncomfortable. Look at her cool outfit. Oh, look, the sky's cleared up a little bit. Or at least it looks like it has. 
Uh, yeah, 20% 20, 20 off. Sell items with a 10% profit. That's good. I know you're hungry. We're about to go to a restaurant. On side bugs we can sell. Keep all the lumber wool. I think we have like plenty of carrots in our house. Do not need the grapes. All the mushrooms can go. I don't even see the point of the mushrooms. We never, they're not actually valuable. I used to think they were really valuable items. We should start saving some stuff like this. The mandrakes and stuff like that. Cause remember, Anoraya is still gonna become a mage. Maybe that's what happens. She's like, she moves on from her farm era. I mean, she's still always gonna have her farm, but she kind of accomplishes what she wants to accomplish with the farm, then becomes a mage, and then she'll find a mage girlfriend, and that's how she will get her girlfriend. Cause you know, I've still never played the magic expansion pack. I still have no idea how it works. You know, how you level up your magic skills or what type of things you can learn. Man, I was hoping we had some birds of paradise. Now this is gonna be the problem, making it when we're not actively selling birds of paradise because that was basically like all of our income. So it might be actually pretty difficult for us to make an income if we're not selling that constantly. Go to all of them. I do not remember seeing spinach before. Did we do the snowdrops too? I'll get one of each just in case. I Yikes, that's a lot of money. Oh yeah. Let me ask what things they have to do. An assortment of ingredients? No. An upgrade part for an animal shed? Oversized fertilized? No, I don't care about that. All I want are my parts. Let's travel again on the rail. You're gonna have fun. Trust in me, just believe. I promise you we're going somewhere cool. We're gonna go to a restaurant that you will like. We're gonna go to the IHOP type place because that's that's the restaurant that I think Andrea would be most comfortable at. I'm yeah, comfortable at. Yeah, let's go to Lola Sunshine Diner. Here's Lola Sunshine Diner. I know you're hungry. Look, we're going out to eat. We're right here. Here's what the waiters look like. Here's what the place looks like. It's very like um the exact type of thing that Andrea would probably like. Who's here? Ah, oh, Nalan! He's one of the teachers of the magic school. Oh, so is she, Tarion. But so here's the diner, the sunshine diner. Looks like this, very perky, bright and happy looking. Got some signs in the front, got some chickens and flowers and a bird thing. In the back is pretty plain. Oh, I didn't know these trees flower depending on the season. That's so cool. I love looking at the seasons. This is actually all the lot, but I've tried to make it blend in with the rest of the place around it, and it looks like it does. I mean, can you tell where the lot ends and where the natural world of the Sims begins? It's right here. I think about like here. A little kitchen with two kitchen things, and there's these two little bathrooms that are very simple, not very decorated, it's just two little bathroom. And this little corner place where you have some plants and stuff, and here's these light colored peachy booths and pastel looking stuff, and here somebody's been eating breakfast and having some coffee, and there's these walls with flowers on them, like bright and pastel and perky and exactly the type of place that Aunt Maria and her pastel farm sensibilities would want to go. They have some fresh croissants out on the counter and you can get the newspaper if you want. Aren't you hungry? That's one of the chefs. I wonder why the chefs always sit outside. This is like a small local run little cafe area. Oh, she got the good table. Cause in this place you can kind of look out and see everybody going by and everything. Well, I think if I had to sit, if I had to go eat in this place, this would be, this would be the ideal table. Cause it's like corner, there's nobody next to you. You get the window seat, everything, but this would be the next best thing because it's also very separated from everyone else right by the door and you can see everything. Dang, when did the McDunchley stop going out to eat? They've been in every restaurant. Clertis Gun McDunchley is here with his wife. Yeah, see, look, we have iced coffee, hot cocoa, lemonade, lots of teas, orange juice, sparkling apple juice, and then you have some yogurt, some salads, and then everything is mostly, it's breakfast food. It's like a breakfast diner. Except for there's like mushroom soup and some stuff, but we have like frittatas, eggs and toast, scrambled eggs, pancakes, um, fish and chips, eggs benedict. Oh, we should get an eggs benedict. Grand breakfast. Um, and then you have some like cupcakes and some scones. I don't know whether they get grand breakfast or eggs benedict. Can I get both? No, I can't get both. Oh, can you only get one? Ah, oh, that is why there was a difficulty 
get iced coffee and because like remember when Lyris was going out to eat at Chunkle Dunks, there they only served like one part of the food, and I thought I had ordered three things. Oh, one dish and one drink per sim. Okay. So I can't order. I thought maybe I could order an entree, a dessert, and an appetizer. Who's coming to take my order? This is awkward. We're wearing the same dress. Have the chefs gone inside yet? What are they doing? They're just like sitting out there. I don't want to like starve to death before they make my food. Uh oh, there comes Persimmon's dad. I'm gonna put my hunger up a little bit. This is a busy place. They're fighting. Of course they're fighting. Does she not seem like the type of woman who goes to restaurants and causes problems? <laughs> well, Persimmon's dad's hanging out in here too. Chefs? Hello? Everybody's just like up front yelling at each other. Why are they fighting? What are they fighting about? Oh! Persimmon's mom is here too. They came as a group. Why are you just sitting out here? I want my breakfast food! There he is. Glamour boy. With the puffy lips. Oh gosh, there comes the chef. Thank god. Everybody in the restaurant's getting antsy. They're like yelling at each other because they're not getting their food. 